Imagine standing before someone who claims to be the source of all life, the light that dispels every darkness, and the only way to reach God himself. You might think they're crazy, unless that person was backing up every word with miraculous signs and fulfilled prophecies. Two thousand years ago, Jesus of Nazareth made exactly these claims through seven world-shaking statements that began with the words, I am. These words made the religious leaders of his day want to stone him for blasphemy. Today we're diving deep into these seven revolutionary declarations that still have the power to transform your life. I am. When Jesus used the words, I am, he was doing something revolutionary. In Hebrew tradition, I am, or Yahweh, was the sacred name God revealed to Moses at the burning bush. By using these words, Jesus was explicitly claiming his divine nature. Let's explore each statement and understand what they mean. Number 1, John 6 verse 35. Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. This came right after he had fed the 5,000, when people were seeking him for more physical bread. But Jesus pointed to a deeper hunger, our soul's need for spiritual nourishment. Just as bread was essential for daily survival in ancient times, Jesus tells us he is essential for our spiritual life. When we try to satisfy our deepest longings with success, relationships, or material possessions, we'll always come up hungry. Only Jesus provides the satisfaction our souls crave. Number 2, John 8 verse 12. In the second statement, Jesus declared, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. He spoke these words as he taught in the temple courts. In a world before electricity, darkness was a very real fear. Jesus proclaimed that in our spiritual darkness, our confusion, sin, and despair, he provides guidance, truth, and hope. Think about how a single light can transform a dark room. That's what Jesus does in our lives, illuminating our path and revealing truth. Number 3, John 10 verse 7. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. In ancient sheepfolds, shepherds would literally become the gate, lying across the entrance to protect their flock. Jesus is telling us he is our protection, our security, and the only legitimate way to enter into relationship with God. There are no back doors into God's kingdom. Jesus is the gate through which we must enter. Number 4, John 10 verse 11. Jesus proclaimed, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Unlike hired hands who run away when danger comes, Jesus is the shepherd who laid down his life for us. He knows each of us by name, cares for our individual needs, and actively seeks us when we wander away. This personal sacrificial love sets him apart. Number 5, John 11 verse 25. Jesus further proclaimed, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. He said this just before raising Lazarus from the dead. This wasn't just about physical life, Jesus was claiming power over death itself, and promising eternal life to all who believe in him. Whatever feels dead in your life, hopes, dreams, relationships, Jesus has the power to bring restoration and new life. Number 6. John 14 verse 6. In the sixth statement, Jesus says, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father, except through me. This was Jesus' response to Thomas's confusion about the path to God. In our world of relative truth and many spiritual paths, this statement stands out. He's claiming to be the way, and the truth. Our relationship with God, 
doesn't come through following rules or religious systems, but through a personal relationship with Jesus. Number 7, John 15 verse 1. Jesus declared, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. This beautiful metaphor shows our complete dependence on Him. Just as branches can't produce fruit when disconnected from the vine, we cannot produce spiritual fruit apart from our connection to Jesus. This isn't about trying harder to be good, it's about staying connected to our source of life. These seven statements paint a complete picture of who Jesus is and what he offers us. He is our sustenance, guidance, access to God, protector, power over death, path to God, and source of spiritual life. Each statement reveals another facet of his character and his ability to meet our deepest needs. As we conclude today's study, take a moment to reflect. Which of these statements speaks most to your current situation? Jesus' words aren't just historical statements. They're personal invitations to experience him in all these ways. Amen. Thanks for watching, and if you're ready to keep going deeper into God's Word, watch the next video to continue growing in faith and understanding.